it's Dawn. I thought I'd show you today how you can set up your email signature on your Microsoft Outlook 365 on your web uh, account of Outlook. So I'm logged in here um, into my account and uh, you see I've got the tab, there's the Outlook, there's the App Launcher and way to the right you're looking for the gear. What we want is to make the signature consistent for all of our outgoing emails. So I'm coming down here into the View All Outlook Settings. And here you can shop around. There's all kinds of things that you can uh, use and change in here. So take your time once you get in here. But we are going to this Compose and Reply. And what you can do here, if you want to have different versions of your signature, sometimes people do an internal or an external, um, or if they have different job roles, they may uh, change up the signature a little bit here and there. So if I wanted to make another signature or edit this one, I can do it from this window. I'm going to go New Signature. I'll just type Sample. And then I would just put whatever I wanted in here and M Microsoft. Oh, signature. You can never type fast, can you? <laughs> and then if you wanted to do anything, maybe link something or um, add any fancies to this, notice that. I can't see all that unless I scroll down. There's like some hidden stuff down there. So scroll on down and you could actually, you know, select and link. Here I'm going to um, insert a link uh, for my web address and I can do that here. So just know that you can do whatever setup you need. It's also connected over to bookings if you have not looked up. Microsoft Bookings, that's part of the 365 system where you can set up the link to um, send out and let people book appointments with you. Kind of like other products like Calendly and Acuity, um, you can use that. Now, which signature do you want for your default? Do I want the one that I'm just making, which I actually need to hit Save? Now you see I'll have two listed in there. And then I could pick which one's going to be the default for the new message. And if I'm going to reply, how do I want to reply to messages? Do I want to include a signature in there? So you've got other settings. This is where you set up the font and, and all those things. But just work your way through. Do what you need to do in here and then close it. And then as you create new email messages, you'll see your signature, your chosen signature, will auto-populate to your new email messages. So I hope that helps. Uh, have a great day. Thank you. Be sure and subscribe.